that time. We're gonna do a refurbish on this old puppy. Broken tip. Hey, check this out. Crooked as heck. You can see that. Has some other issues. Small one, rusty galore. A little crooked, that's about it. Damn. And also, the sheath. Gonna be doing that as well. So, the maker for this, right here. So I'm gonna file this off to the side. Let's take another closer look at this before it goes into the bath. the magic solution. Don't even ask me what this is, guys. Seriously. I'll have to come and get you. Also, this has aluminum. We don't want to leave the aluminum in here too long. Well, eat it. Alright, so they've been in the solution overnight, as you can see. That rust is just coming right off. See that? Stuff works. Miracles. See that? That is all rust. Shout out to the rust squad out there. You know who you are. Let the small ones do that. Ooh, I almost cut myself. I gotta be careful. The other things actually are still razor sharp. Well, that would have been a bad start to a day. Okay, so let's see. Well, we'll start with the big one. Got here, I think it's um, a thousand, twelve hundred actually. Grit sandpaper, and just get that surface nice and clean, like such. See that? Now, here where the Ricasso is, I usually go this way, and then what I'll do at the end, I'll go that way. If you get what I'm saying. There you go, starting to see a little bit of something in there. Coming back to life. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing what I'm doing to both blades and then uh, go to the next step, which will be for this one here. I gotta unbend this bastard. All right, so the rust is uh, completely off. Here's how I'm looking is the other unit so two problems as you can see this one on the right you can see that bend this one's gonna be tough to uh, put back together without snapping something this is so small here up front this little tip but the bend is actually down here um, I'm thinking I might just leave it like this for this one here because what I've been thinking about is uh, the person is right-handed that actually works out pretty good with the geometry and you're cutting flush, right? It has that little curvature. So instead of being a flat, so you want to get in somewhere. It has that little, you know? That makes sense. So I like that. Of course, if you're left-handed, it's a whole different category. It doesn't work as well. Okay? But I think I'm going to leave it. I don't know. We'll see. Right now, I don't want to touch that because I, I really believe that this will break. I can get a little closer, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think I want to take the chance on this little one. Now, as far as this one goes, this one's bent as well. You can see there, right here. So from here to here, I have to unbend it right here. So I already know what happened. Somebody stuck this into something and bent it and broke the tip. So yeah. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go try to um, bend this and come back to you with the results. Wish me luck. All right, update. I did get it a little closer to where it's supposed to be, but I'm not gonna go any further than this. 
Um, so as you can see, I ended up getting this a little closer to being true center, uh, just slightly. I don't even want to go any further because I don't want to take the chance of snapping the blade. Now, speaking of snapping blades, I went ahead and I tried to do this one as well. And I knew that tip was going to snap off. And as you can see, it snapped off. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we are going to put a new tip on both of them. Okay? How about I just weld this together and uh, have one of these? Yeah, nah, I don't think so. Anyways. On to the next phase we go. All right, let's do the little one first, right? Fix all this up here, make this blend it all in, and it'll look good. Pretty good. Alright, so the tips are looking pretty damn good. What do you think? That's one. There's the other one. This one I left a little bit of meat uh, left behind. That way, when I sharpen it, I'll come up to it uh, on the whetstone, coming to a nice, fine little needle point. Like that one. these all together that way I know how it goes back together and then handle bone by the way and then your guard now the guard Just grab something like so and hit it down and try not to make dents into it usually you want to do something softer than steel on brass but I'm confident I won't mess it up because this is rolled there we go okay so it's having a hard time what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray it and leave it like that for a little while and let's work on the little one the little one's gonna be a little more challenging it's a tighter little fit here which I don't know if this is gonna work uh, let's see I've never done it this tight here Okay, lock it into place. Okay. And here we go, moment of truth. I'm grabbing it, but oh there we go. So yep, there was Loctite on here. You can see the Loctite coming out. See that? Kinda hard to see with my dirty fingers, right? Hey, shout out to the dirty fingers, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's coming out pretty nicely. Oh yeah, there's a lot of rust in this one. Holy shit. Alright, so that nut's already seized in there. So, put that off to the side. You can see all that rust there. Yeah, the handle's gonna be tough to come out. And remember, this thing is sharp. I still gotta be careful. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it here. Spray this here and let it penetrate. Spray this as well down here. Let that penetrate because it's going to be a little while on this one. There we go.
All right, it's been sitting here for a while. Let's see if I can get this out of here. If not, I'm just gonna work around it. I really don't wanna take too much time with this. All right, let's see if I can do it like this. Actually not, I can do it like that. And, yep, she's seized. It is seized in there. Like, it's turning here. So it's seized here and here. Both ends. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Because uh, I can work around that. I've had problems like this in the past, so uh, not a problem. Since I have this out, I'm gonna clean all this up with a wire brush. this blade. I like to use the wire brush and as you can see there's this side and there's that side. Now watch, I'm going to do it here see the results. Walk that out, right? Let me continue doing this while you guys talk amongst yourselves. Decent job, if I say so myself. What do you think? Yeah. Now on to the next step. I got a special treatment for this one. All right, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but you see by here, I dunked it into a certain acid, both blades. Now I'm gonna put it into the tumbler, right? And then I have another chemical. I can't tell you what it is. I'm gonna spray in there onto the media. And between all of that, those two chemical reactions are going to do a little special effect. Alright, and... There goes. Always a pain in the ass when you get a brand new buffing wheel. I like them when they're old, because they're broken in. When they're new, these things are messy. I'm going to continue doing this up here as well. The back side, I'm going to clean that out as well. And then uh, go from there. Yeah, these little bits of here is uh, really pain in the ass on the brand new buffers. You can see that, look at that. I don't like that. Hey, I don't want to give a shout out to you, you bastard. See, the love is coming back to life, right? So I'm gonna do that three more times and it's gonna be good as new. Knocking off those birds that was on him. I don't know what that is right there. I see, see something there. There we go, it's coming off. Little corner right there, see that? Alright, that's really 
pretty good, that corner up there. Yeah, still not sure what that is. It looks like an imperfection on the bone or something. Something got hit or whatever it may be. It's something towards that nature. Alright, so that's looking pretty good, huh? The surface is there. Kind of off a little bit. Not too much. Now this side here. Go around. Take my time. Oh, and it's going on my face. Yeah, I hate this wheel already. Look what it does, see? See that? See what it's doing? Now you can see why I don't like brand new wheels. Alright, just pulled them out of the tumbler. As you can see. Looking pretty good, huh? And the hardware as well. You can see that coming back to life right there. Look at that. Versus this side. Beautiful. All right, time to put screaming edge on both of these suckers. Let's do this. completed Thanks for coming in, checking out this quick refurbish. Shout out to all my new subs. Special shout out to my existing subs, especially the DMK USA crew. You know who you are. Shout out to everyone rocking out with me over on Instagram. That's where I'm at, full time at Full Throttle. Oh, and I almost forgot. Special shout out to all the woodpeckers and plugs out there. You know who you are as well. <laughs> Thanks again. I'm out of here. Cheers.